All right, putting together a complete. Got a skate deck here. I think it's 775. Ordered trucks, wheels, grip tape, trucks, wheels, bearings, hardware. You're gonna need all this, all of this stuff. All right, tools you're gonna need, half inch wrench or socket, um, Phillips head screwdriver, and something to fit these nuts. That's like a eight, eight mil or 10 mil. All right, first thing to do, I would say is put grip tape on. So, Jessup grip tape. I just got cheapest stuff pretty much. Alright, take off the plastic. This is a Canadian deck. surface a little bit make sure there's no dust grip tape sticks really well though so it's, it's not a huge deal you don't like need to put alcohol on it or anything I never have at least there's some I don't know what that is all right so make sure you got the right size grip yep that's good and this is when you will cut if you want a line I don't know if I'm gonna do a line actually you want to figure out which, which is the nose and which is the tail. Um, you usually have a line on the tail, but you can have it on the nose too. On this board, so usually the tail is a little bit smaller, a little bit shorter. Um, it's actually hard to tell on here though. I think this is the tail. Sometimes you can tell by the graphics. So, perhaps you're going this way. I think this is the tail though, this side over here so I've done it backwards in my lines on the front which is fine also this is actually I'm doing for a buddy and he doesn't know how to skate so it doesn't really matter all right so this is when you cut your line I like to let's see probably here you want above the front of the hardware so I'll just cut it with some scissors Putting the grip on. You only really get one shot at this. Okay, yep, just like that. Get it. Make sure there's no air bubbles. If you have to pick it back up, that's fine. Just don't push, start pushing it down if you didn't get it right the first time. I got this pretty good the first time, so. Yep, that's good. Now the front's gonna go on like right here. Little line, okay. I've done this actually. Okay. It's not perfect. There we go. Kind of like that. Weird. Okay. Sick. Got a nice little line. 
doesn't look straight, but it is. It's pretty good. All right, kind of, kind of do this around the edges now. Make sure no air bubbles. It's all good. And then with your Phillips, Phillips side screwdriver, you're gonna do this so you can make a line. Well, cut it and smooth it and sand it so that doesn't come up. Just an angle, just scratching. easier it is when it comes off and it comes off better so so with your razor blade if you grind it all down I've got like a Razor blade with a little handle. You can just use a bare razor blade or like a box cutter. You just uh, basically cut, lift up on the grip a little bit on the outside, and then you're gonna go around and just slide it right where you already sanded down with your screwdriver. You're just going around cutting it. And if it gets a little rough, then just go over it again with your screwdriver. Here. I just filed that all the way off, which is fine. Careful, razor blades, sometimes they're sharp. Just kidding, they're always sharp. That's what you want. That's what you want in a razor blade. If your razor blade can't do this, it's because it's dull. Your, your mommy and daddy gave you a, a fake razor blade that's safe. Need one that's sharp. So up here. Yeah, you don't want overhanging grip tape or it'll get snagged and then it'll start ripping up. That's not fun. Never, never seen a fake razor blade. It's kind of a sick toy for kids. Like not good. It's not really like a tool that you get for kids, like a kid's tool. Like a hammer, like a fake hammer or something. Fake razor blade. It's like emo parents. Start here and go up. Best way. This razor blade. <laughs> this isn't sharp. It's been used for so many different things. It's just like <clears throat> not that sharp. And replace it. I 
is an old deck too. Paint coming up. Some. It's alright. It's alright. And then there's this trick too. Just flip the grip tape up like this and actually just sand it. Use the grip tape. Just sand the whole edge. Doing this basically just to smooth it down and because you don't want any lips that will catch and pull it out. left-handed, definitely right-handed person. deck with grip tape on it. Looks good, right? Okay, now let's poke some holes. Too big. Um, you can use your, your hardware or a smaller screwdriver or a pick. I don't know. Just grabbing the hardware. Putting it through the back side, popping it through. Where to set pretty flush with the deck once you put the traps on. Alright. You're fine. You can use your uh, group tape sandpaper. Just sand it around there so it's smooth. Top. Just make sure, make sure it's all cleared out. All that grip 
work tape out of there. Probably a better way to do this with the grip tape. Doesn't get in the way or rip up. You guys can let me know. This is the way I've done it, but yeah, sometimes we'll have issues. Yeah, because now there's like a little grip tape flap. And just pull it off. It's good. Alright, next I would say is, um, let's put the, let's put the wheels, put the wheels and bearings together. These are generic, I think they're 56 millimeter. Need eight bearings. Bearings don't matter which way they go in. Put it in, push it. These go in real easy. You don't need a spacer. You can have one if you want, but don't need it. I think these are ABAC 7s. Ooh, ABAC 9s. You know, it actually doesn't matter the ABAC rating. That's only for like really the tolerance measurement that the ABAC is actually in is after like 150 or something miles an hour. So really just the quality of the bearing, the manufacturer and just how good it is really matters more than the ABAC. You're not going to notice ABAC on a skate. It's ABAC 9 or ABAC 3 or ABAC 5. It doesn't really matter. They're all good. Um, okay, now let's put wheels on the trucks. So has two washers here. Wheel washer washer wheel washer nut. Okay, two washers, washer, wheel, washer, nut. Alright, those are on. These are Crux, Crux trucks. It's been a while since I bought trucks. But, I don't know. To me it doesn't really matter. Seem all pretty much the same. Up, up. Washer. Wheel. Washer. Nut. Washer, wheel, washer, nut. Okay, I'm just tightening bound right now. Since there aren't aren't spacers in between the bearings and the wheel, 
you can't just crank these all the way down. Um, you want a tiny bit of play. So basically, tiny bit. I'm gonna you pretty much want the size you can go, but still have a little bit of play. So I like a tiny bit looser than that. Yeah, they're still play and they're spinning freely. So this is a half inch, half inch wrench. Tiny bit tighter. Yeah, that's good. Use a socket also, or skate tool. Yep, that's good. Tiny bit of play. So you can wiggle it. If you go too tight, it won't spin, and it'll crush the bearing. Okay, sweet. Okay, now let's put. Put your screws, screws down. Screws down. Put these aside. Put this stuff aside. All right, so your trucks, hold your screws truck orientation. So these are the bushings right here, um, or dodos. They go on the inside of the skateboard. Some, some like other longboard trucks and stuff, they actually have them on the outside. So there's a sticker on it. But on skates, skateboards, traditional goes on the inside. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna punch through this, this paper. There we go. Just so I just punch through the paper so I can get the trucks on. Hardware's in. Trucks go like this. Trucks on. If you're having if you put have risers, riser pads to make your trucks a little higher off the deck, they go in between the trucks and the deck. So you put the riser on the hardware and then the trucks. I don't have risers on here. You need risers if you're running big wheels and you get wheel bite. Wheel bites where when you're turning the trucks hard and the wheel actually catches the deck and then it grabs. Um, that's usually just when you need risers. Some trucks now just are naturally taller, so you don't need risers. These are locking nuts, so kind of hard to tighten by hand. I'm holding the screw with my right hand on the bottom and then spinning the nut. Okay. Tightening it. Alright. And then you're going to need your Phillips. And this is a half also? No. Smaller than a half. Yeah, much smaller. It's like an 8 mil. Hmm. 
So I'm using I'm using a ten. I think I think it's a nine. We'll see. Flip your board on the side. And just screw in from the top. Until it's pretty snug. And until the the screw is um, sunk in your deck pretty good in your grip tape. I'm just tightening, spinning the screwdriver with my right hand, ready tighty, holding the nut with my other hand. I've got a 10 mil on there. Holding that nut, I think it's well. It's probably standard and not metric. All right. Then once once you're down, you don't need it too crazy tight. You start getting pressure cracks if you go too tight. I basically go until these are pretty flush on the deck. Um, we'll do this one. So screws in the top. <laughs> this might be the tail. I might have done the line backwards. It's hard to tell on this board. Alright. Forgot. Use your, use your screw. Punch holes. If you have tape on your trucks. Holding the screws, kind of. There we go. Okay. Those are all lined up. I'm holding the. Holding the screw with my one hand and tightening the nut with my other. Okay, nine mil or standard equivalent. Tighten it with the screw. I don't usually tighten it with the nut because then the screw doesn't go down. Usually. I'm crossing too, so I do that one up there. This one down here. I'm just kind of out of habit. If I don't need to. It's kind of a star pattern. This one. Okay, it's tight, but not 
I'm not crazy tight. So again, you don't want to pressure crack. These aren't rotating. So there's a complete deck. Complete, a complete skateboard. Complete, complete. Um, these bushings kind of get broken in. So I just probably leave them alone for a bit and skate it. And then you can loosen them up or tighten them up after, I don't know, at least a few days skating on them. Um, I like loose trucks, but if you need to loosen or tighten these, it's this big nut on top. This is not a half, it's bigger than that. A little bit bigger than a half, whatever that is. Crescent size, that's what it is. So basically this nut, you just loosen, lefty, loosey, ready, tighty. So loosening this will make make your wheels go down make it turn easier so when you lean in lean on your board on the sides it'll lean easier and it'll turn easier um, yeah so that's it here's a complete nothing else to it go shred thanks for watching like and subscribe Yee.